<laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's my alarm saying, get on the live. All right, I beat myself tonight. Let's see who's here. <laughs> oh, Marcus is here. B, what's going on? Kirk, what's going on? He says, let's talk. Everybody uh, should try some B money electronically just to see if it works. KB <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Barbecue, what's going on? Captain Newbie, how you doing this evening? The Medic. How you doing this evening? How is everybody? I have not made my drink yet, and I, you know, I really should be drinking water tonight. But I'm not gonna drink water. I'll be back. I wanna mix something up. All right. All right, so this evening I am, I have the Costco size bottle of the crown and we're just gonna just gonna send it all right uh captain newbie said we need more than four likes yes indeed if you haven't already please hit that thumbs up button for me please i am uh i'm steady pouring i don't know if you can hear i'm steady pouring just just some ice in there we're gonna fill her up and we're going to have a good talk tonight. So, I know a few of you guys are actually selling food. And a few of you guys are accepting electronic payments. So, with, obviously, with everything going on. What up, Jimmy? How you doing this evening? Hey, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I greatly appreciate it. Please and thank you guys in advance and or just thank you if you've already done it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> for you, not for me. Uh, I'm going to be all right. The uh, the crown is only only 70 proof. It's not not nearly as high of a, a proof as, uh, let's say, vodka or that 188 proof that I got in the, in the freezer for good reason. I pull it out on special occasions. It's like the it's like the good china that 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 high octane that's that's like higher than high octane that's the that's that good good that's what that is <laughs> he says he has his rum filled up he's golden what's up mike how you doing man he says he's back guess who's back <laughs> back again oh man a friend of mine was saying that they trying to cancel Eminem. I said, I'm like, for what? For, you know, some of some of the <clears throat> derogatory terms that he, you know, said way back in the day. They're like, no, for a song he did with Rihanna. I'm like, wait, what song? I had to go back and, and figure it out and find out. <clears throat> Blind Man, what's up with you this evening? I was going to ask you how many fingers I was holding up. But um, I'm just going to hold up three fingers, okay? And just know I'm holding up three fingers. Papa Larry says, what up? What up? Let's talk. I need more info on this. Yes, indeed. We're going to give a couple... Cup, we're going to give it a couple minutes to let folks get in here. And then we're going to get right into it. I know this is one of those things that people have questions about. Now, I will be, I will be completely honest. I am biased. And I'll tell you my biases... Or my bias? I don't know. I'll tell you how and why I'm biased in a minute. So, um, let's see who else is here. Anybody else here that I need to say hello to? Blind Man, we got Mike, Papa Larry, B from, or the Texas Barbecue Guy, Marcus from Crimson Creek. Ah, my nose is itching. That means I'm coming into some money. Captain Newbie, what's going on, sir? I know I said hi, but I'm just... You know, going back and saying hi to everyone. Amatic one. And Jimmy. I saw Jimmy up in here. Pat Conti says, hey. Jeremy Bell, what up? Nothing much, man. How are you doing this evening? Hopefully everybody is well. Hopefully everybody is warm. I don't know if everybody is dry. But um, 
you know, hopefully the 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 winter is waning for everyone. Luke Kalamata's in the building. How you doing this evening, sir? He said, "Hey, yo, good evening. Good topic. Good topic. Good topic." I said, "That's like that. That Steve. That Steve Harvey. Good. Good answer. Good. Good answer. Good answer." Russell Jones, what's going on? He said, "Plus one like, one like, one like." <laughs> How oh man I'm I'm so I'm so happy that you guys care to join me this evening. I really am I'm so grateful and and appreciative that you guys hang out with me. It really is. Ah, uh, be such a selling soil to get the garden started. Man, I was thinking about that earlier today. I was driving my van. Why was I driving my van? I picked something up or oh, you know what it was? A, a friend of mine, one of my best friends, he asked me to help him move a couch. So I drove down, I helped him move the couch. But the day I was helping him move the couch, it was like sleet and snow and stuff like that. So I was using the windshield, windshield washing solution a lot in, in Vanna, in my van. And it ran out before I got home. So I said, oh wait, I gotta remember to go get some windshield washing solution. So I like this afternoon I put windshield washing solution in my wife's van. I put some in my car and then I put some in my van. And as I'm walking back and forth between the house, her car, my car, and my van in the garage, I'm like, I walk past the the drum that I have all of my dirt from my potato boxes in. And I looked at it and I was like, I'm not gonna start those just yet, because we're gonna still have another frost or two. And sure enough, tonight we're going to get down into, the, I believe we're going to get down into the 20s tonight. So not yet, not yet. Kirk says, hey, yo, what's happening? <laughs> no, Lou, no, no, no. He is actually upstairs already. Uh, he should be getting in ready for bed. Uh <laughs> Jimmy, uh, I I know I I uh, you know it is what it is, Jimmy, and and you know I'm I just I will tell you like I tell any and everybody else, I appreciate those of you guys who come in and hang out with me for a little while, even if you hang out here and then go somewhere else and you come back here. As long as you start out here and you end up here, that's cool with me. That's that's cool with me. Uh. Let's see. Kirk says towards the end of your feed, a few drinks. We're going to need to hear you say window washing solution three times faster. Well, Kirk, you need to stick around to remind remind me to say windshield washing solution. <laughs> Delta had me on the go. I missed this. Well, you know, might you know sometimes getting paid is better than than. Than being here for the live, but you can always catch this on the rewind. Definitely. Grumpus, how you doing this evening, sir? Hopefully all is well. Hopefully you got everything worked out in your crib, in your house. Captain Newbie says, so I bought the some AITX and some SENS and some, <laughs> all right, uh, and some TRSSF. So uh, AITX, I think I looked at it, but it might have been a little high for what capital I had. Like I don't, I don't have a whole bunch of capital to invest into that. I did get some sends though. Uh, T R S F F. I'm gonna have to write that one down and check back on that one. T R S S F. I'm gonna have to look into that one. But thanks. Uh, I know that sends sends went up for a quick second and then it dropped down. But I'm thinking Sens is Sensonic is gonna be like a, a long a long term play because they have the the Eversense is the name of the product um that has not gotten FDA approval. But once it does, yeah, so I'm gonna be putting a couple dollars into Sensonics as I can. Uh Wayne says, How's it going, brother? First time viewing y'all live. Well, thank you very much for, for joining us, Wayne. So, first rule, Wayne, when you get here, if you if you haven't been here before, you have to, you know, you did that already. You, you accomplished it without even being poked or prodded. You have to say hi. I don't know if you're here unless you say, Hey, I'm here, right? 
Second thing, please hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does not only help me feel better about doing these videos, it really does. It helps this video do better and it helps my channel immensely. So all I can do is say thank you in advance for going ahead and hitting that thumbs up button for me. And uh, if you need some help on how to get it done, let me know and I will help you with that. And Kirk says, deal. Moo uh, Moo says, uh, was a rice ball, I think. Hello, all. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Perfect. Grumpus, glad to hear. Windshield washing solution. Man, you make everything sound professional. Yeah, well, that's what it is. Windshield washing. If, if, fluid. Solution. I don't know. It's a solution. That, you know, it's not just fluid. Oh, it's a weed company. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll take. I'll take a look at that. Almost like the English accent. <laughs> it was. Well, I had to top off the windshield washing solution on my car. Nah, come on, Lou. <laughs> the witness, man. Just call me Dash. All right, just call me Dash. Everybody calls me Dash. You can too. Um. Victor says I'm dropping, but I have to say nice hoodie. If it wasn't for all that gray in your beard, I wouldn't know there were a beard. Stop, said the hoodie. Uh, yeah, where the beard stops and the hoodie starts. Yeah, so there's the beard and there is the hoodie. There is the jello pudding. Uh, Jamie says, Dash! <laughs> Let's do this thing. Yes, indeed. What up, Lee? How you doing, man? He says, hello, Dash and Chat. I know he's listening in while he's getting ready for work. Hey, Lee, thank you, sir. I appreciate you always, always checking in and uh, saying hey while you're getting ready for work. Uh, da -da -da. B says, got the boy sitting with me tonight. He's into everything. Terrible threes. Oh, I, man, look, you got one. I have three. Tell me when you get to the third side, when you go through it the third time. Let's say fluid, but it's not a fluid. It's a solution. Look on the bottle. It says windshield washing solution. It's a solution. Washer oil, Moo Moo says. Uh, how to hit the light on a cell phone. So if you turn your cell phone vertically and you turn off the chat and you hit the back button, I think you should be able to see the thumbs up. Uh, and then you should be able to just hit it. And then turn around. Bees is blinker fluid. Blinker fluid is different. It's different. Uh, I've been thinking for a while about starting small barbecue catering business in and around Omaha for some time now. Your videos have given me a kick on to do. All right, what else? What's up? I love the chat. I have chats time. By the way, I'm English, and your English accent is better than mine. <laughs> Oh, a three-inch, a, a three-inch, a three-nager. <laughs> I like that one, Jamie, a three-nager. <laughs> I've been staying away from Sundial. It's just been a little too volatile for me. I, I'm not even going to talk about it. I, I have been watching Tilray since it was at under $8. Under eight dollars till Ray. A, a co-worker told another co-worker and she just she she yelled over the wall to me about son about Till Ray a year ago. More than a year ago, actually. Well, no, it was almost a year ago. Because I, I got in I got into the stock, I got into stocks March last year. So she yelled over the wall because she is I don't say heavy, but she's into the market. So she was telling me, telling me, telling me, and, and she said, Oh, you know. Mike, another one of our coworkers, she said, Mike told me about this this stock, T L R Y. I'm like, T L R Y. What was that? So I'm like, all right, well, I'll look at it. I'm like, Tilray. I'm waiting for a dip. Yo, it never dip. And every time I look back on it and on my watch list, it just kept coming up and up and up and up and up. And I just I just I like I kept waiting for a dip. So sometimes you just have to get in where you can get in. Do not wait for the dip always. That'll be my advice. Um, uh, uh, you got to hit the X on the top right of the chat. No, Lou, you can't hit the X on the top right of the chat. That's going to close it. Uh, 
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Rick. How you doing this evening, man? Uh, Lord help me when the boy hit, hits his teens. Yeah. Mm -mm. Lord help his chin. That's what that's going to be. <laughs> Look at out and said, don't make me throat punch you. Chop him in the throat. Eric with two Ks. One C and two Ks. That's like, is that like thick? You know, you like thick T H I C C C, like multiple C's on it. Uh, loose is not on my phone. It brings up the thumbs. Well, Lou, you must be rocking an iPhone or something. I don't know. If I hit the X, I feel like I'm gonna be Xing out of the. Well, then again, I am also hosting this whole thing. And that's how I close the videos out. I have to hit the X. So don't give me the line though. Uh, Captain Newby says in 2019, Tilbury was 104. Now it's 25 ish. Wow, really? See, when I saw it, it was sub $10. Like eight, I think it was like $8. Like seriously. No, it was cheaper than that. It might have been under $5 when I looked at it the first time. But again, like I said, I was waiting for it to go up and up and up. All right, so let's let's get let's get talking about electronic payments. All right. So a lot of you guys last year, obviously, things happened. And you know, there was a cash shortage, a shortage of coinage in the United States. And a lot of that was because people were home and weren't spending cash like they were excuse me so we had a or a resort to a lot more electronic payments so when i say electronic payments i'm going i'm talking about cards be it debit or credit cards i'm talking about um like like direct cashless transactions through venmo venmo i don't actually use venmo paypal cash app zelle what electronic payments do you guys use and and, and I'm, I'm not just saying to to sell some food between you and and someone else or you know a, a, you and a customer but even to send money to your kids or to your spouse or to you know family members what sort of electronic payments do you guys use uh romeo says your thoughts on crawfish ah we like crawfish i actually made some crawfish i did a little seafood boil a uh, week ago, week and a half ago, I guess it was, maybe two weeks ago. Um, but it, it was good. It just, on a whim, I was like, you know what? I went to the market. I got some shrimp. I got some crawfish and uh, uh, potatoes, some zucchini, some onions. No, no, no. I didn't do potatoes. Zucchini. Uh, it was pretty good. Actually, if you check out my Instagram, it was I posted it on my Instagram. Uh, B says, if the iPhone just uh, closed the keyboard. Chef Orel says, what's Gucci, everyone? Y'all can't hit the X. Uh, it'll close the chat and bring up the thumbs up, but it'll give you, uh, it'll give a smash your, your senior dash? What? All right, man. Uh, okay. I got Moderna in March last year when it was under 20. So, Mike, I did not get Moderna when it was under 20. I didn't get Moderna until it was under 70 like it went up to about 80 or so and i've been watching it watching it watching it and it had dropped to under 70 and that's when i picked it up and i've been i've been killing myself today it, it dropped 15 16 dollars today and it dropped from a high of 188 it was at like 143 142 i didn't i haven't checked on it late this afternoon but i was watching it i was watching it, i was watching it and i was like do I want to get out or am I going to just continue to hold? Like I was going to get out and buy back in. But anyway. All right. So listen, let's get to talking about the electronic payments. We'll talk about stocks again in the last hour. All right. So uh, Flip Your Meat says, I found a local business selling empanadas. They use Zelle and Venmo. That's pretty cool. Uh, Captain Newbie says, I got cash app because PayPal uh, and PayPal, but haven't really used them yet. Okay. So Jamie says Square and Venmo. All right. Brian says Square, Cash App, PayPal. And then I also have a Clover. 
for when I do events. Nice. Uh, Kirk says, anybody wanting to practice sending money? I'll be glad to assist you in this endeavor. Yes, he will type out my cash app, which is dollar sign SDSBBQ. Again, that was dollar sign SDSBBQ. Anyone that wants to, you know, leave a donation for, for, for the good brother Dash, feel free. Again, Kirk, thank you so very much for being the volunteer to type out cash app dollar sign SDS BBQ. Thanks, Kirk. I appreciate you. Uh, Mubu says uh, square debit reader, 10 cents per card, 40 cents, uh, 40 to 100, no, 40 cents to a dollar 20 per credit. Uh, Justin, he says, hey, yo, Dash, what's up? What is the drink for tonight? Tonight's drink, we have the crown apple. I was being lazy, and I said, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to fill it up. So, hmm. I had about three quarters of ice, and I poured on straight crown apple. I, I can drink it straight. And, mm -mm -mm. Mike says, cash app. Papa Bear, <laughs> what's going on, Justin, again? Uh, cash app, Zell, PayPal, but not a fan of PayPal. All right. Well, that's that's good. I'm going to talk about PayPal in a second. T Rock says, Sub Dash, where did you get the crawfish from? Square and Cash App is what I use. T Rock, I just went to my local market, supermarket, um, a giant. I live in Baltimore and there's, there's a giant not far away. And I went in there and the whole thing was I knew that I wanted seafood for dinner that particular night. And I, it was just one of those deals where I walked in the market and I was like, all right, well, so I, I, I kind of like going and doing like a supermarket sweep type thing. I'll walk in with no expectation of what I'm going to cook. And then if I find something, I'll be completely honest. I find stuff on sale. Like, okay, hey, I found a, a, a pack of meat that's on sale. I'm going to take it home right now and use it and cook it. Bet. I'll do that. Uh, but the there were shrimp on sale. So shrimp just so happened to be on sale. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get some shrimp. So I got two and a half pounds of like, medium or jumbo or medium or large shrimp and i was like all right well nah if i do this like a like a like a seafood boil i need more than just shrimp so i was looking for some mussels but i didn't really want to do the live mussels myself because i was gonna have to be beard them i didn't feel like doing that so i was like you know what let me look 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 oh boom i found some crawfish so they were frozen i know i know they were frozen crawfish and i just tossed them in so then I was like, all right, well, let me go back up to the produce section. So I got some zucchini. I knew I had some onions at home already. And I put it all together and then put it in the pot. Oh, and some sausage. So I made, like like I said, a correct uh, uh, seafood boil. Like I said, I sold GameStop at, at 300 man. Shoot, I wish. I'm upside down if I had to talk about what I had in the GameStop. But I actually... I, I do still have some AMC. I'm holding on. I'm in the black, but barely uh, from what I purchased my, um, well, what my average is for for AMC. But the whole thing is I, um, last week when it shot up, I, I feel like I should have gotten out when I was able to get everything that I put into between AMC and, and, and GameStop. Like I had a little, let's see. I was like, all right, I got some gambling money. So I threw that at it. And I was like, all right. And of course I, I got in, you know, fear of missing out. I got in too late on the GameStop, but AMC, I got in a little too late, but when it dropped down, I was able to buy back and dollar cost average down. So that was, I felt good about that. But the problem is when AMC shot up to 13 bucks, I should have got out then. Cause that's when I would have gotten all of my money back from everything that I put into AMC and GameStop and lost. Um, so like I said, I'm in the black, but just barely. Uh, anyway, all right, next hour, we're gonna, we're gonna delve into the stocks more and more and more. Uh, I'll write it down. All right, da, 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 da. <laughs> shopping hungry. Captain Newbie says no. <laughs> I 
Beasts, PayPal is always good for us. Uh, we tell everyone to sell friends and family, so it cuts a lot of the fees. So the only problem with that be uh, is on the consumer side. If you if something happens, you can't really, you know, unfortunate as it may be, um, when you're doing business, you got to pay fees. And that's one of those things that sometimes you got to eat that. Uh, as a consumer, you have more protections when you self, when you, when you send money uh, via like a, to a business that way. It's unfortunate as it may be, but whenever I'm doing business with someone, I try to... It depends, though. I, sometimes I'll send it, you know, friends and family. Other times I will send it, you know, like the way it's intended. Um, because, you know, those those fees are there for the consumer's protection. It's, it's oddly as it may sound. Odd as it may sound. Justin said, I had someone ask if I take Venmo today. I never heard of it. Should I open an account? Uh, what's good, bad, ugly on Venmo? So, I will tell you my, and I'm trying to catch up to the comments before I start talking about this because I know I'm going to get behind. So Mike's a square is high clover is what I use for uh, events. Cash at is for those who uh, call every week. Moo boost is vice versa here. Clover versus square for costs. Yeah, I rarely use square anymore. Clover is great. I got to sync with my QuickBooks. And Mike says, hey, Dash. All right. My personal thing is this. I have used square. I have used PayPal. I have used Zelle. I have used Cash App. My thing is this. I do not want to have an account with every single electronic payment processor, okay? Because I feel like you're getting you're, you're getting spread a little bit too thin and some, oh, this person has this fee and this person has that fee and you have to remember which one does better and then you have to consolidate things back into a specific account, all of those things like that. Uh, Lou says Chase has one too now. Oh, I never do that. I uh, never took an e-payment, but I heard PayPal was good because the money is available as soon as possible. And I'm getting ready to get into it. Thank you, Lou. You you just you just helped me out. So I've been using electronic payments since before they were really really popular, and. I used PayPal. I've had PayPal longest as far as my electronic payments because I used to, you know, I won't say buy and sell, but I used to buy things via eBay. When eBay purchased PayPal or PayPal purchased eBay, I think it was P PayPal purchased eBay, uh, excuse me, other way around, eBay purchased PayPal and they made PayPal the preferred method of payment on eBay. When I bought things on eBay or, you know, I, I used PayPal and that's that made it a lot easier. So I've always had, and then as long as I've been on the internet buying things, always had PayPal. Because I've always had PayPal, I use PayPal a lot. Now, when electronic payments were, you know, the hot new thing, I got Square. I got a Square reader because you can plug it into your phone and that's how you accept the credit cards. That was like the gold standard. But the problem with Square was if I swiped the card and, and you know, accepted a payment on like Monday, that money would not be into my account until like Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, depending on how late in the day it happened. So I'm like, all right. I ended up breaking my square reader in my pocket, right? I broke the little tab off and I'm like, oh no, what do I do now? Well, square gives you a, 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 um, a provision to type in someone's card number. Well, when you type in their card number, you pay a higher fee for that, right? So I said, okay. Let me figure out who can do electronic payments. Now, with Square, you could go into like Best Buy and pick up a Square reader, or there, there were certain places at the time. Now, mind you, this is probably four or five years ago, if not longer, that you could get these Square readers. So I couldn't go into Best Buy. I had to take this credit card like right then and there. And once I paid the higher fee, I was like, never again. I'm going to always have a backup. So I said, okay. What I ended up doing was when I looked into the, the electronic payments, PayPal, PayPal here, where the PayPal reader popped up. I'm like, what? PayPal has their own credit card reader? No. Nah. So went out to PayPal, PayPal, looked it up, got the information, found out about it, and I compared PayPal to Square as far as their fees. PayPal's fees were slightly lower than Square's. I'm like, okay. 
when I got my PayPal reader, boom, I, I was swiping card. When I got my, you know, and I already knew how Square worked, I'm like, wait a minute. The money went right into my PayPal account instantaneously. And if you guys have heard me, people have asked about this before. I've talked about this before. PayPal will go into your PayPal account immediately. Now, if you need to send that money from your PayPal account to your bank account, it's going to take a day or so. All right, great. Well, not great if you need the money right away. Well, how do you get around that? How you get around that is by having a PayPal. Look, my wallet is right here. I will show you guys. Let me just make sure there's no. Yep. PayPal has a business debit card. What? Now, here's the next thing about the PayPal debit card. When you use the PayPal debit card, when you swipe it and use it for credit transactions, when you do that, PayPal gives you 1% of your credit transactions back. So in your two and a quarter percent in fees, you can get 1% of those fees back by using the PayPal debit card. Yes. No, nah, man, Luke, you didn't steal my thunder, man. You gave that. That was perfect. That was right on time. <laughs> Yeah, Lou, um, I don't bank with Chase, but I do have my, I do use that for brokerage and I have a couple credit cards through Chase. So I might look into that as well. Mubu said the thing you, is you can set uh, your deposit with Square or manually do it yourself. I don't know. So Jamie says Square has a card too. Well, that's great. And I'm sure that is probably to combat PayPal, but I, 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 I don't know. I I, pref, I prefer PayPal, and that's probably because my I have my own bias. I told you, um, I prefer PayPal because I've been using it the longest, and for a very very long time. When people were like, "Oh man, you know, can I Venmo? Venmo you?" And I'm like, "Nah, man, I don't do Venmo. I do cash. I do I do PayPal." And then one of the the I want to say ladies, one of the uh, parents at the kids' school. We were doing something, and she said, "Oh, can you can you send me Cash App?" And I was like, "Yo, I keep hearing about this Cash App. Nah, I don't know. I don't know anything about Cash App." She's like, "Oh, she she explained it to me," and I'm like, "Well, I'm not new to electronic payments, but I'm like, uh, I'm like, all right." So I set up Cash App, and I said, "I'll do PayPal and I'll do Cash App because people either had Venmo, Ven. Why can't I say Venmo? People had Venmo or Cash App. Now here's the thing that's crazy to me, right?" Cash App is owned by PayPal. Venmo is owned by Square. Those things, I was like, I already kind of have this information. Joe Mello is going good. I tried to stop using PayPal since they were bought by China. PayPal was bought by China? How? Okay. Uh, Russell says I do bank with Chase, so I'm going to check both Chase and the PayPal card. Yes, I... I I again. This is my own. I, I'm by. I am. Uh, uh, I'll tell you 100. I am biased. PayPal's not paying me. They should, uh, as much as I advertise, and I go hard for PayPal. I love my PayPal. Uh, like I said, I've been using PayPal for. I feel like as long as I've been longer than I've been on YouTube. So 10, 12 years. Um. Hobo Nichols says, what's going on? He says, howdy fam. How you doing this evening, man? Um, but I I am I am very biased and PayPal is my number one. Now with PayPal, I can set up invoices, I can send invoices, I can I can do things on my phone that I I won't say I wasn't able to, but because I was an early adopter of Square or an early user of Square, Square hadn't caught up to what PayPal was already doing. So I left Square and I, I, you know, got back firmly on and with PayPal and I haven't looked back. Never got into Venmo, okay? Venmo was just, the reason why I didn't get into Venmo is because I was like, yo, I don't need another um, China bought PayPal or maybe somebody in China bought PayPal, but... I, you know, neither here nor there. I'll look into it. I'm not going to, you know, I'll, I'll look into it. Uh, but 
uh, I because I had already been with PayPal and already had a history with PayPal, when Venmo came along, I'm like, why do I need Venmo? I already have PayPal. And you know what's funny? A lot of people who were on or jumping on the Venmo bandwagon were those folks who had PayPal accounts but messed up their PayPal accounts and couldn't do stuff in PayPal. Uh, you know, and, and what ended up happening, why I got Zelle was because a friend of mine picked up a car part for me and he like he was like, yo, I can't do PayPal. PayPal messed up my account. Okay. So PayPal messed up his account in order for, in, and in order for me to send him cash or money, I had to send it through Zelle. I'm like, all right, I'll figure out this whole Zelle thing. Just give me a couple of minutes to figure it out. So I set up Zelle um, and I was able to set it up and boom, I sent the money and it was all cool. And that was a year or two ago, if not longer, it's probably longer. So probably two years ago. And then come to find out Zelle is integrated with a lot of banks, like straight banks. So my credit union is integrated with Zelle, so I can actually send money through Zelle pretty, pretty quickly. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I had a coworker send him some money for lottery tickets actually through Zelle. I uh, actually opened up a brokerage account with Fidelity and I'm able to send money to my brokerage account through Fidelity, through Zelle, through my credit union. I'm like, oh, all right. It takes two days to get there or a day to get there, but I mean, it's, it's faster than um, it, it's the fastest way I have to get it there so far or at the moment. Uh, Papa Bear says my PayPal and cash app are personal accounts, not business accounts. What's the advantage of having a business account? Um, when and or if you need to do something and like, I actually just, uh, I filled out paperwork for a concealed carry, okay? And in the state of Maryland, in order to to get a concealed carry, like, it's it's really difficult. Uh, it's one of the more difficult places to get a concealed carry. It's so difficult that Maryland does not have any reciprocity with any other states in the Union or, or in the United States. Maryland stands alone. That being said, in order to get a concealed carry in Maryland, you have to have a really good excuse. Well, my excuse is my business. Um, I am delivering food at around the state all times of day and night. I set up events and doing events out and about all around the state at different times of the day and night. Um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm receiving payments from folks in different methods. Depositing cash again, uh, sometimes after bank. Well, I'm depositing funds. I'll say funds uh, after the banks close and things like that. So, in order to facilitate this, I had to show them transactions on a business account. So sometimes having a business account can be good, Justin. Um, just you know, the whole thing is you know, yeah. Uh, Captain Newby says PayPal is at two fifty six. For I don't, I, I can't afford to buy into PayPal right now. Spanky, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh my goodness! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a celebrity up on the, in the chat. We got Jay's Brat and Barbecue. Hold on, let me show y'all something. I feel so honored that Jay sent this to me. He sent me, and, and unfortunately, as in, you know, the, the font, I can read it. You know, here is his Jay's Brap and Barbecue Seasoning. This is Jay's Special Fry Seasoning. And Jay, yo, we use this. We use it sparingly because we're trying to save it because this was all that he sent. Jay, when you make some more of this stuff, Please, 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 please send me some more. I need some more of that. Taxation by separation. <laughs> Captain Newby says, yeah. What's up, Kent? How you doing this evening? Hold on, Kent. Where, where's Kent at? I know I got Kent on. A, oh, my cup, my, my, my thermos with Kent on it is in the trunk of the car. I don't have, 
I got the sticker on one of my on, on the thing out in the car. Man, Taylor's here. Everybody's coming in a little late, but what's going on, man? He says, "Hey, yo, Dash. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hey, all. Yes, indeed. You should have said the reason I shall not be infringed is I sh is shall not be infringed. Okay. Nope. Uh, that doesn't work here, B. Not at all. Might have missed it, Dash. Uh, but just PayPal report the uh, transaction to the government when it's a business account. So." Hobo Nickel, I can tell you with uh, some certainty that only the only thing that PayPal will do as far as reporting transactions, if you have enough transactions, you have to have quite a few transactions in order for PayPal to report anything like business taxation wise. Um, and and, and it, it, there's it's twofold. You have to have over a certain number of transactions per year or hit a certain dollar amount. Um, in the, shoot, it's 2021. So in the six years that I've been doing, seven years actually that I've been I've been doing this, one year that I have a, uh, that I get reported. Um, and it, it really wasn't like, it was, it was very easy for me to offset the things that I was doing. So yeah. Uh, all right. Duke Joha, how did I say that right? He says, "Hey Dash, greetings from Melbourne, Australia." Hey, <laughs> uh, thank you, Jay. Man, I appreciate you, good brother. I've been watching you on Instagram, dude. My wife and Violet say, "Hey, hello." I should have some more time to actually do things now since working in the office now and not in the field. Oh, check. Jay, I will hit a move doing up to the inside with the air conditioning. What? Check you out. <laughs> PayPal isn't owned by a China company, a but PayPal owns 30% of GoPay. Huh? All right. Well, like I said, I was going to do my research on uh, PayPal's ownership uh, a little later. But nonetheless, um, uh, PayPal, from what I understand, is owned by Google. I, I thought PayPal was now owned by Google. But, you know, anyway. Um, so one of the things, too, uh, I, one of the other reasons why I like PayPal is PayPal has some offices local to me. Um, and I use the service. I've told you guys, I've talked to you guys about this. I use a service called PayPal here. Or excuse me, um, PayPal. Oh man, what the hell was that? The name of the. Basically, PayPal gave me a loan, and the loan PayPal gave me wasn't a traditional loan where you pay back interest and things like that. It was like, okay, you're gonna borrow X amount, X amount of dollars. I'm like, yes. They're like, okay, we're gonna charge you a flat fee. Boom, here's the flat fee. There's no interest. Here's, you know, this is what we're gonna do. You're going to, um, uh, work. You are going to pay us back. A percentage of your sales that you run through your PayPal account. I'm like, oh really? Okay, like that works. That that's amicable. So and I've talked about this, but the whole thing is, I, I like, I got Vicky the vertical smoker because of PayPal, and because of my business and, and the transactions I was running through PayPal, I was able to pay back or pay Vicky off. So I was like, yes, please. And I've told you guys before, I actually was interviewed with the like the business division or small business division of PayPal. And I had that interview on my channel. It was from 2016. Ah, uh, Jason Dash, you a real one from day one. That's why I always took your advice with videos. I need to post a pic with your shirt on IG. Well, thank you very much, man. I do appreciate it. Jay, you know, every now and again, I, you know, it's like picking stocks, man. I, every now and again, I, I pick a good one. And, you know, dude, I, I, I don't know what it is. I saw something in you, with you, you know, and you hung out with me. And, and you know, you latched on. So, dude, man, I, sometimes, I, like I said, I, I can knock them out the park. And I'm like, I ah, mean, bro, you need to post some videos. So, uh, not for nothing, you know what I'm about to say to you, Jay. Uh, uh, this is uh, an agar from a German deli. It's smoked salami, so good. Alpine deli, I think. All right, nice. Ha, 
All right, so PayPal. I told you my preference is PayPal. Okay. Um, Cash App. Cash App works. All right. A lot of people have Cash App. Again, it's one of those things where you you Cash App somebody. Did did I, I don't know. Have have any of you guys taken advantage of sending anything my way? Again, my Cash App. Are you listening? All right. Write, write this down. My cash app is dollar sign SDSBBQ, okay? And I would appreciate, you know, a dollar, two dollars, whatever, whatever you can spare. You know, if you want to be like, you know what, that that guy, he helped me out today. You know what, here's five dollars for some beer. Here's, here's some crown money, okay? So, I mean, I, I look, I'm not going to tell you no. But I am going to tell you thank you. That's all I got to say. But really, I the only the only electronic payment that I don't use is Venmo. Okay, I'm gonna say the only. There's a lot of them out there, and I don't use Square because Square versus PayPal as far as like credit card tr- transactions, Skype transactions, <clears throat> Square was higher. Now, I've never used Clover, and the reason why I've never used Clover is because I don't have a dedicated, like, terminal to set up. So, those of you guys who use Clover, and I, I, I'll i be honest, I thought Clover was a spinoff or, like, uh, associated or, like, connected to Square. So, not that I never looked into it, it's just I'm not to that point yet, I guess is what you could say. Uh, yes, Jay, I have used Zelle. Um, I was talking about Zelle. Uh, my credit union actually is linked to Zelle. So I can send money. Gosh, I can send money via Zelle. And the money is either in their account or when I receive money through Zelle. Oh, man. Russell. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, my man. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> oh, what's going on? I, I, I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all funny, <laughs> but I, I mean, so my credit union, uh, man, that's what's up, man. I, I appreciate that, definitely, Captain Newbie. That I, I, I just, I can't say thanks enough, man. I, I mean, like seriously, I, I joke, but I'm serious, and I am grateful. So. Um, so Zell, like I said, I was telling, uh, Jay, you, you, you might've came in on the tail end of this. I have a friend who had, a, or apparently he messed up his PayPal account and can't send money or receive money through PayPal. So he's like, Hey man, I need you. All right. 48 minutes in. I'm sorry. Anyway, he's like, Hey man, you know, he was getting a car park for me. Right. So he lives, he lives an hour South of me. And these parts, these springs actually from my Passat were an hour and a half south of me. And he sent me the link. So I'm like, yo, I can't, I, like, I can't go down there and get them. I was like, is there any way you can go and get them for me? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll go get them. And I said, listen, if you go get them for me, I'll give you an extra 50 bucks for going to get them. So he's like, all right, well, can you send it through Zelle? I'm like, I'd never heard of Zelle before. So... I looked up Zelle, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll just connect my account. Boom, I'll send the money through Zelle. I sent it to him. He was able to get money from the ATM to take and give this guy cash. I'm like, perfect. It worked out. So that was my first foray into Zelle. And then what ended up happening with Zelle, Zelle then got integrated with my credit union. So it just it just worked out over the years. So I've sent and received some money through Zelle, but not very much. Like my preferred, oh man, dude, Justin, you you rock, sir. Let me, thank you very much. Russ, Justin, thank you. I, I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, <laughs> oh man, the, the Captain Newbie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I, uh, Justin, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but the whole thing was Zelle kind of fell into my lap. So 
uh, out of all the electronic payments, pay- PayPal, Zelle, and Cash App. Oh my gosh. Jamie, what? Yo, y'all, yeah, yeah, <laughs> funny. I, I, I'm, I am tickle pink and blown away. Yo, you guys are the best. Um, like, I, I, I kid, but wow. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so B says uh, Clover is great if you have a dedicated point of sale, and that's the thing I don't. I don't have a dedicated terminal just yet. Um, so when and or if I am doing things like if I'm doing like if I'm doing a, a like taking food or something like somebody's house, I'm gonna set up a PayPal invoice and I'm a, hey I'm gonna email it to you and I need you to pay it before I leave my house before I cook your food, or I will take it and and we'll do a PayPal here type thing. And I used to be able to swipe a card, but my newest phone does not have a a um a headphone jack in order for me to use the card reader so i think i'm gonna have to pony up i think it's 20 bucks or 30 bucks in order to get the paypal card like you insert the card or swipe the card reader uh blue bluetooth uh card reader so i just haven't done that yet because most of the folks that i'm taking food to they're like oh well hey i'm like listen i tell them point blank i said listen in order for me to do food for you, I need your email address, your address, your address, your email address, and what it is you want. And most people give me email address, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna send you an invoice. You pay it right online. They're like, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, they're like, oh, I don't have PayPal. You don't need a PayPal account to pay the PayPal invoice. So do not allow people to tell you I don't have PayPal. And then uh, a lot of other people are like, well, do you have this? No, well, don't do that one. I, I do Cash App. They're like, okay, cool. I'll Cash App you. What's your Cash App? Bad. So, I mean, as long as you have something, most people have it too. Uh, Captain Newby says, so, da, da, da. Uh, how and when do you use PayPal? How do you get the turkey in phone? Uh, wait, wait. So, now when you use PayPal... How do you get the turkey in phone? The turkey in phone? Uh, maybe I missed something. But when you use PayPal, the money stays in your PayPal account until, well, when or until when or if you send it to a dedicated bank account. I don't mind it staying in my PayPal account because I have a PayPal debit card. I showed you the PayPal debit card. Uh, let me cover up my name there. All right, the PayPal debit card. All right, so I use that, and then when you use the PayPal debit card to swipe or as a swipe transaction, you are getting one percent back uh, at the end of the month for those transactions. Mike says they have a mobile card reader too for for PayPal. Okay, for which which one? Uh, Benji says, hey hey old Dash, I use Facebook Pay for barbecue and selling things with Facebook Marketplace. It works well. Benji, I tried, or actually Kirk, uh, who was here, um, he sent me some money through pay, through Facebook, and I don't know what I did wrong, but I could not claim that money. And I was like, you know what? Listen, that didn't work for me. Send me this money via Cash App or through, through PayPal. So I ended up having to deny the transaction, and he sent me the money through, I believe it was through PayPal. But it just... I was doing something wrong. Uh, Jay says, I use Zelle because it links with my bank as well. And it's pretty good because it keeps track. So, contacts, you can look from your post history. All right. Send a turkey. Yeah, PayPal. Was it? I'm sorry. I, I Well, Russell. Um, I'm just saying, you know, uh, my cup is almost empty. You, you you gotta be a little more I, yeah, I'm I'm yeah. Anyway, I'm doing the pre pay orders through texting or IG. Does the customer have to have an account with PayPal? Uh no. Cash app, Venmo, or can they just pay using the credit card online? So Justin, they can they can use a credit card, credit debit card, do not have to have a PayPal account. Now, if you use Cash App, then they will have to have a Cash App account to send you money through Cash App. Same thing with Venmo. They will have to have a Venmo Venmo account in order to send you money through Venmo. The, the beautiful thing about 
PayPal, when you send an invoice, it is just that. It's an invoice. You get the invoice. It's just like I could show you, you know, um, an invoice through, like this is for, uh, I have Delta Dental, okay, for my dental through my employer. If they send me invoice or, you know, through my health, uh, through my insurance, if they, if, if I go and go to like the doctor, the doctor sends me an invoice and I have to pay it. I can just pay it through their portal with a credit card. Same thing with, with, uh, with PayPal. You do not have to have a PayPal account in order to pay it. And like I said, and Justin, you might've typed this before I said it the last time, when you send a PayPal invoice, you can just like when you receive it. So Justin, do me do me a favor. Justin, I know you have my information on um on uh, uh Patreon. Um I will I think I might have an email address for you, Justin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you an invoice or we can talk on Patreon if you can send me a message via Patreon. Um, and with your email, I can show you what it looks like. Okay. And when I show you what it looks like, you're going to be like, Oh, okay. Now I get it. I sent myself this information, like to an additional e email address I had in the past. And I'm like, Oh, or you can, when you set up your invoice through PayPal, you can see it as if it were your customer. Like you can preview it before you send it to your customer. And yeah, uh, Benji says it goes straight to my debit card account and my bank never had a problem. All right, Randy says hello. Uh, da, 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 da. This is a person account requires to have a PayPal account. So, Hobo Nickel Hobo says the business PayPal doesn't require them to have PayPal, the individual person account requires them to have PayPal account. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So if I have a business PayPal account, anyone can pay an invoice, I guess you're saying, versus if I have PayPal, a business, a personal PayPal, in order for me to send you money, you have to have a PayPal account. That makes sense. All right. Uh, Benji says it's always instant. Just throwing out an alternative. It's easy for people not so hip to the alternative uh, payments. All right. Justin says, I'm assuming the invoice feature is only... I'm using the business PayPal, not the regular PayPal. Probably, Justin. If I had to guess, um, all right. Oh, well, there we go. Look, look at that, hobo. Wow, here I am, right on time again, with some information that you needed to know, and I didn't even know you needed to know it, man. Had you hit me up, you know how much easier tonight's discussion would have been. I would like, yo, we need to talk about like trying to payments, not just sitting here like. What is something I haven't talked about in quite some time? Like, I actually did research. I looked back at, at some of my older live streams, and I was like, I haven't talked about accepting electronic payments in, in like, two years, maybe three. I should talk about that again. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yo, dude, hit me up. Because I be struggling sometimes <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to talk about. I have been doing this. I have literally, and I, I, somebody went back and looked. I've been doing this, I believe, every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. for the better part of four, maybe even five years doing lives. And every Wednesday, I try to do something different. I try to talk about something different. And every now and again, I'm like, uh, 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 I don't know what I'm talking about tonight. What am I going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? And every now and again, I have somebody new. Like I tell you, Jamie. Jamie came in clutch. Uh, Justin. Justin came in clutch. He gave me some ideas a couple weeks ago. And... You know, a lot of times it's just people have questions and I'm like, you know what? If that one person has a question, I'm sure other people have questions too. Like, why don't we talk about it live? And I can kill two birds with one stone because not only can I tell you how I feel about it, other people can chime in and talk about their experiences and we can have like a discussion. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jimmy says, time to hit the thumbs up. Yes, indeed. If you have not hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd agree. I'd appreciate it if you could. It really does make me feel better about doing these videos. It helps these videos and it helps my channel. And then I get to say thank you. So, thank you. Uh, you need adventures. Go to events where people are cooking on the side of the road. It's always interesting. So, Randy, uh, in Maryland, it's not as easy as some people would think to cook on the side of the road. Um, it's not like, Randy, where do you live? Let me let me just ask that. Where do you live, Randy? Uh, um, Moo Boo says times two. Yeah. I mean, it, it's Dallas. You are in Texas. Texas is like, oh, you want to set up on the side of the road? Sure, go ahead. It's a lot easier in Texas to set up on the side of the road than it is in the state of Maryland. So I looked again the other day, and I've told you guys about this before. In order for me to set up in Maryland and to get the first hurdle is the catering license, an official catering license. In Maryland, in order to get a statewide catering license, oh, for the record, no, I do not have the official catering license in Maryland. I am operating in the, um, hold on, hey, Hobo, where you at? This is black. This is gray. Okay. I am operating, I've been operating in the gray area. All right. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Hobo says, don't talk about Fight Club because he knew where I was going. I've been operating, you know, because I'm doing private events. If I'm doing an event directly for you, I'm doing you a favor. I'm not selling food directly to the public. That's how I kind of get around that. Steven, what's going on, man? Oh, man, so so good to have Trinidad and Tobago uh, definitely hanging out. I, I just, yeah, Mr. Richard. Mr. Richards on the other side of town, well, technically on the other side of the zip code, but we, you know, we don't split hairs. Um, yo, Uncle Steve says we all live a little gray. Look, look at this right here. The gray area is 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 taking over my beard. <laughs> That's what that is. But the point I'm trying to make is, in the state of Maryland, in order for me to get an official catering license in the state of Maryland, aside from all the other things I have to do that I can't just yet, the catering license is $2,000 a year. A year. Now, of course, can I make $2,000 a year? Yes. Can I afford to spend $2,000 a year on a catering license? Not yet. Not yet. I ain't making that much money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mr. Richard hasn't ordered that much food just yet. I just, I can't do that just yet. And I'll be completely honest. So I have to do what I have to do. And, um, ooh, look at this gray hoodie I have. <laughs> I, 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 I have to do some things in the gray area. Yeah. Yeah, Randy. I'm, I'm dead serious. It's not as easy. <laughs> Yo, Hobo says gray is the new black. You know what? <clears throat> ah. Woo. Gray is the new black, Hobo. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Steve, man, how you doing this evening? I didn't say hi. Um, yeah. <laughs> v says I can attest to that. I did a whole video on setting up a roadside stand in Texas. Yes, indeed. Yeah, but you know what, B? One of the things that I I will tell you that that you had, I won't say going for you, but your health inspection was probably your biggest hurdle. In Maryland, the catering license is the biggest hurdle because not only do I have to pay that $2,000 uh, uh, $2, a year in order to get a statewide catering license, in order to have a, um, are you finished in the kitchen? 
You can turn off the light in the kitchen. Thank you very much. Did you eat the jumbo lie or what? You finished it? Did you wash out the sink? Mm -hmm. Did you clean out the trap in the dishwasher? Mm -hmm. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, because you got in trouble. Uh-huh. Go ahead and say, mm-hmm. All right. So, in order for me to get a um, the catering license, I also have to have a commercial kitchen. I don't have that yet. So, yeah. Oh, man. Uncle Steve is living a dream. Yes, indeed. Yes, hobo. Wardrobe change. Do y'all recognize? Do I, do, I, do I look, you know, I look okay? <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Almost to turn off the lights. You trying to save $2,000. Yo, who are you telling? You already know. So Peyton says one out of food truck. Um, So <laughs> having a food truck does not negate me from needing and or having to have some of the same licensing. Again, Maryland sucks when it comes to food trucks. Like seriously, the best way, the the best way for me to kind of get around a lot of these things is to have a brick and mortar. It's, it's going to be to have a brick and mortar. And in order for me to get a brick and mortar, it's going to take a lot of money. A lot of money. So again, my cash app is going to be dollar sign SDSBBQ. If you would like to help me, you know, uh, definitely dollar sign SDSBBQ. Uh... Uh, there are some old timers here. Yes, indeed, Spanky. You you have, you've kind of like fell into it. Um, Justin said in Los Angeles, everybody operating illegally, taco and fruit stand on every corner. Yeah, Dash ain't got two thousand dollars alone, let alone a hundred thousand dollars for a truck. Hey, hobo, tell tell him again, bro. Because the you know now. I know, I know, I know. If anything, I would do a trailer. And the reason I would do a trailer is because I feel as if if I get a truck, then if something happens to the truck, then I'm stuck. And I have to pay an exorbitant an exuberant fee to have the, the truck towed. If I have a trailer and something happens to my vehicle, I can go rent a vehicle and tow that vehicle or tow that trailer to some degree, or I can find someone that can I, I can borrow a truck from in order to tow my vehicle, to to, to tow my trailer, um, and I'm not stuck. But the, the problem with this is, not everywhere will allow you to have a trailer. It's not like yo, Maryland is so much different than everywhere else in this country. Yo, I swear. Maryland has got to be one of the hardest places to get set up when it comes to selling food to the public via a vehicle or a conveyance. It is like there's so many hurdles that no one else has heard of. Like, here's another one. In, I be, I, now this one, I don't know if it's Baltimore City or if it's Maryland altogether. I know for sure in Baltimore City, in a trailer... You are not supposed to cook with charcoal or wood. How the hell am I going to have a barbecue trailer if I can't cook with charcoal or wood? Just, just brittle me that. To you, yeah. Speaking of, says you take a check? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, uh, Sure. Uh, Mubu says $75 for a citywide license, $75 in total, including other licenses, province-wide. Oh, my gosh. I mean, for real? That's ridiculous. I, I would, I mean, I would end that up. $75 and or $750 is a lot cheaper than two grand. Uh, Hobo says people don't understand the cost. They just understand what seems like a good idea. Anyone who watched LeBron's show a few years ago, the barbecue food truck, when it broke down, 
They lost the food they cooked because the truck wouldn't move. Yeah. I mean, if you break down on the side of the highway, what you going to do? Flag folks down and be like, yo, I got barbecue here on the side of the highway? No. You have to take the food to where the people are. And if you break down in a specific area where no one can get your food, yeah. Uh, set up on a flea market or a swap meet. Again, Captain Newbie, it's not that simple. I have to. It's... In my state, in my area, it's it's it it's way easier than you think. Uh, Peyton Bell says smoker off the trailer. Uh, Moo Boost is pre cook. And you know, he sells that day. A truck is broke, but you lose all the food you cooked the night before. Well, hobo, if you're smart, one of the things I would always make sure I have is a vacuum sealer on board. Boom. Because when or if things, you know, don't go my way, I'm vacuum sealing everything. And I'm putting it on ice. I'm putting it on in a refrigerator. And I will sell it again later. I just use the truck to prep and sell out. Again, not that simple. I have to make sure that that truck or the trailer can be designated and or approved as a commercial kitchen. In Maryland, it's not that simple. With these manic legs. <laughs> yeah. Commercial kitchens. To use as commissary out here. Went $2,000 a month. I only need it for inspections. I won't cook clean. Nor store anything there. Yeah. Maryland sounds kind of communist. Hey, B. Um, yeah. It, it really is. We're not even going to talk about gun laws here. All right. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um. We are slightly better than California when it comes to gun laws. Slightly better. Uh, I'm not making judgments, but we're selling barbecue or leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Look, listen, I'm telling you, Hobo, um, if it comes to losing a whole lot of money or vacuum sealing and being able to sell it another day, I'm going to vacuum seal it and sell it another day. Just, just saying. Let's make this just move to Texas. No. It's too damn hot in Texas. At least I won't move to Texas right now. I, I you know, do not rule it out because I, I love me some Austin. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Um, but Austin is a little too far away from my family. Um, Peyton says they have places in Virginia selling trailers for 50 to 60K. Dude, I would need, I'm telling you, I need half that. Because I know the things that I need and don't need. And I, I got a guy that I know that I can lean on and say, listen, you have a trailer. You know who I'm talking to. I'm, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. All right. You have a trailer. What are the things that you had to have, have to have, do not need, and wished you had? So I have a leg up, okay? I, you know, it, it pays to know people, and I've talked about this before. I, I, I have a friend who works in the credit union, and she has said under no, no certain terms, she says, listen, when you're ready, you're approved. And I'm like, well, damn, that, that sounds awesome. And I've never, I pride myself on the, on the fact that I've never had to really borrow any serious money. I borrowed money to buy Vicky, but I was, I had the sales to pay back the purchase of Vicky. So it wasn't a burden, not really. But if I like, if something happens and it gets to the point where I'm like, you know what? I'm not working full time anymore. I'm doing barbecue, you know, let's say Friday through Sunday. And if, if that's what it takes, if that's what I need to do, if that's what I'm going to do, boom. Yeah. Uh, make yourself and get it certified. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Randy says, Austin, Texas is expensive. Bruh. I will be making, well, I mean, yeah. I'll figure it out. Do you have any interest in charcuterie? Uh, uh, it's all right. I understand what you were 
trying to say, and and I am uh, I'm a little inebriated. Charcuterie, curing meats or sausages? Not really. Not really. Oh, we've come to that part of the show where I have to put on my you to a grill hat. You, you know, I gotta show Johnny some love here. Uh, Johnny says hello, Dash. Hello, everyone. Barry Hill says cost of living changes between states can be a real scary barrier to moving. Well, you know what? So I'll tell you what. Maryland or the my pay grade because I am I mm, we'll say started working because I work closer to DC. My company is located closer to DC. I make a fair decent amount of change. Like I I'm I make decent money. I'm not not saying I don't. Can I make the money that I'm making all on a food trailer? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be it's going it's gonna be a lot of cooking. A lot of cooking. Can I do it? For sure. Cause I'm not you know, I I know I could do it. Could I do it every single day? Oh hell no. Not at this point. Not by myself. Can I find people that probably can you know can can I, you know, that have my vision or will be able to help me, possibly. Um, but I don't, I don't know. Like there's so many variables, so many th- unknowns. Um, Peyton says move to Virginia. Hell no, not with the personal property tax in Virginia. No, 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 not gonna do it. I have too many vehicles. I can't afford to live in Virginia. Um, Marcus says it's a lot of work. That is an understatement. I already know it's work, Marcus. You know, and and I'm not. You know, I'm not afraid of the work, cause I know it's gonna be work. But you know what? There's without without the work, there's not gonna be reward because you know I'm a firm believer of working hard. Playing hard, okay? Definitely. Spanky says, I started catering and it makes the same about that I had a barbecue 100 hours a week versus 50 hours. I guess um, with his with his pay. Uh, uh, Marcus says, uh, sleepless days and nights. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I don't sleep. I don't sleep very well as is. So I'm not afraid of. I ain't afraid of no sleep or not or or missing sleep. That's nothing, man. I sleep when I'm dead. I sleep when I'm dead. Um, Spanky says. Uh, so, so the whole thing is, she said I started catering and uh, to make the same about. I had to make a hundred. I had to barbecue a hundred hours a week versus fifty hours for him working. He said, "Spanky said it would kill me." So he said he started barbecue as a hobby. Um, Urban Culture Kitchen says, "Sup, big bro? Nothing much, man. How you doing this evening?" Mike said, uh, "Come on, Nash. Uh, none of that why stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Look, this morning I got up. It was." Actually, I got up late this morning, but I was up late last night. Oh, me being a a product of the 80s and a kid of the 90s, I watched the Biggie documentary on Netflix last night. It's called I Got a Story to Tell. As a hip hop head, like I grew up in the the era, like Wu-Tang, Biggie, Nas, I wasn't really a big Tupac fan. Still not all that big a Tupac fan. I grew up on the East Coast. So, again, Wu-Tang, Biggie, Nas, Jay-Z. I'll watch anything with, or I'll listen to almost anything they put out, right? I watched that last night, and I didn't go to sleep until probably after 11. My alarm went off this morning at 4.30. I turned it off, and I was like, ah, I'll lay here for a second. And... Next thing I knew was 4.52. I'm like, oh, damn, I got to get up and get out of here. I had to go into the office today, and I got, I made it to work in my desk. I was at my desk. It was like 6.05, and that's because I got to my, 
I got to work like two or three minutes early and I was on my phone in my car before I went inside and I was like, oh damn, I need to go inside. Like I need to get up off and out of the car and go inside. So it's been a long day. That's all I have to say about that. Um, that being said, on Tuesdays, I try to go to bed at a decent time, but it usually never works out. And this Tuesday was no exception. I was... Oh, sorry. I was up late last night watching that documentary on Biggie. And if you are a hip hop head, if you grew up listening to Biggie, you will appreciate that movie, that that documentary. And it 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 was it was amazing. Like it was crazy. So, I think you would appreciate it. That's all I got to say about that. Uh and I like thought of taking a cut of meat and at butcher price and turn it into a spec or a spec or pursuit at a high dollar price. Yeah. Urban cur uh culture kitchen says what's been cooking everyone? I brush with Maryland. Uh put this to your home if you use this commissary if you have four sinks, fridge and stuff. No. The only way that I can use my house, my home kitchen as a um, as a commercial kitchen is if I am baking, there is a, um, I can't think of the, there's, there is some language, like there is a law built in, oh, cottage law. I think that's what it's called, like a cottage law, or cottage, ki cottage kitchen. That is built into Maryland's law that says that you can bake in your home kitchen. That is it. Um, Jay Jesus, what up, Bash? Nothing much, man. How you doing? Yes, Taylor. Yo, on Netflix, I got a story to sell. I got a, I got a story to tell. She's. Yep, I am up. Marcus said, as always, great show. Got to make the donuts early tomorrow. Everyone have a great rest of your evening. Yes, indeed. You too, sir. Hey, Marcus, Jamie, I, I cannot say thank you guys enough for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. I know I say it a lot, but I it really it really is true. And thank you for your uh, donation to the to the fund. Um, I, I definitely appreciate that as well. Oh, man. Guys, you guys are awesome. Definitely awesome. Everyone is awesome. Smake says, follow those guys on IG. Yes, if you do not follow Crimson Creek Barbecue, you definitely need to. I'm gonna take I'm sorry, Johnny. I gotta take this off. My head was getting a little hot. I do have one hoodie right now. Uh, Steven says, smash the thumbs up, y'all. <laughs> um, let's speak legislation to rewrite the parameters of say cottage kitchen, man. You know, uh, I don't even know how to begin in order to do that because obviously the legislation is there to not allow people to cook in their homes for a reason uh, because not everybody i mean you, you guys have seen me cook definitely you've seen me cook and i i hold myself to a to a higher standard than a lot of other other folks do and what i do is exactly it's not exactly the same as what other folks do um, Victor says many states have cottage industry laws. Normally, there are certain limits to that uh, allow you to be legal. Exactly, they don't show you where to start. Yeah. Um, but but see, that's the thing. Um, I was I was telling Hobo. In order to get started, you have to get comfortable in 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 this area, okay? Because 
you cannot go from nobody or just starting out to 100% legit. There's no way. Hey, Steven, thank you very much. He he posted a link to the Crimson Creek Instagram page. If you could, uh, definitely check those guys out. Check out what they're doing. Jamie and Marcus are definitely doing the damn thing down there in Dripping Springs, Texas. And uh, I'm just saying, I might be doing a little traveling a little later this year. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> so, you guys... I feel like I take a trip to Texas every year and, oh, man, I hang out and I chop it up with somebody down there in Texas. Oh, damn, did I just... I might have let the cat out of the bag. Well, y'all going to have to stay tuned on when that happens or what exactly is going to happen. Just know that... Um, <laughs> I hope to be doing some traveling a little later this year. Um, I was, I won't say slated or scheduled to go down. Uncle Steve invited me to go down to the uh, rodeo in Houston. That did not pan out, did not work out, unfortunately. But I'm hoping that I will get down there. So, yeah. Randy Lee said, Red Dirt Rub. Yeah. Randy, you know about the Red Dirt Rub? That's some good stuff. It is some good stuff. Not Tupac fan. Where you been? Uh, he's from the East Coast, bro. Pac, the OG rapper. Yeah, but the whole thing, he is from. He's from the East Coast. And he 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 uh, went to or lived in Baltimore, uh, from what I understand. But he was not an East Coast rapper. He was from the East Coast, but he was a West Coast rapper. And I won't say growing up, but... As a kid, it was like East Coast, West Coast, and and I was too busy listening to, to Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, The Roots, as a Philadelphian. Okay, do I have to? You know, we can. As a Philadelphian, I was too much listening to them. I didn't really listen to Nas, I, and I still haven't gotten into Nas. Um. Benji said, I proposed to my city council, commissioners, and the state legislature to suspend food licensing fees to help new people start a business. And what happened, Benji? Captain Newbie says, I ran from one plane to another in Texas. So we'll love to get there. Yeah, man. Well, um... When and or if things pan out, and I can 100% say, and, you know, I'll be completely honest, one of the things, one of the contingencies is me getting back to vaccinated. Um, when or if I get the vaccine, I will try to make some further plans. Hey, Texas Barbecue guy says, my Instagram is Patriot Barbecue Texas, TX. Legislature, yeah, that's what I meant. No problem. He's Captain Newbie said I copy and pasted that. No problem. Um, I I I I have an in with uh, a couple folks or at least one. Actually, you know what's crazy? I have an in with my local councilman and I have an in with my mayor who used to be a on city council. And actually, I won't say I know directly, but I know, I know, I won't say I know his wife, but like I've communicated with his wife, who is the DA, uh, the district, or excuse me, the city council president. I, I still, I'm still a nobody and they're not going to change things in and around or for the state for me. Um B says, you need to let me know this time. I was offended last time you came here. Man, don't be offended. Like, I just, uh, like, I just, I'm not going to say met you, but just kind of got to know you. And and B, it was not personal. It was, I was in a whole different area from where you were. And from what I understand, you were a few hours away. So, Texas is a big-ass state. Like, 
big old state. I mean, yeah. I won city councilman, got it to a vote, but failed county wants all money they can get. My state legislator is legister. It uh, has bigger issues right now. Benji, where are you? You in the Midwest, right? Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I don't quite know how to to get around some of the things and the fees that they have um, imposed. Hmm. But I could try to talk to my councilman and to, and, and sit down with him and and, and kind of say, hey, maybe we can put up put together something. But I'm sure he'll have a a legitimate like a legitimate reason as to why i don't really think that's gonna fly i and and i'll be completely honest with you one of the main things or one of the main not reasons but one of the main hindrances is the fact that not everybody can or has the same ability to to treat food as i would treat food and I know I go above and beyond in the handling of different food stuffs because, I mean, I take it seriously, but not everybody does, which is unfortunate. Hey, Steven says, double the thumbs up, LOL. Hey, if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could. Then she says, Kansas, and we uh, bang UGK Tech 9. DJ Screw Slim, uh, Slim Thug, around here. Mike Jones, don't forget Mike Jones. You know he he and that that same crew. Uh, UGK definitely, but UGK I found out about UGK much later. Um, Tech Nine, I I heard about Tech Nine because Tech Nine was, I I feel like Tech Nine was was in or with some of the West Coast rappers like uh Too Short and um and uh I don't know man I, I feel like Tech Nine was was not like he played both sides. DJ Screw excuse me DJ Screw I found out about uh, I think I found about DJ Screw a little later Slim Thug again you know Houston that that that's that down south. We we I ain't really get with that in the beginning. <laughs> Legislator may get you uh to the end with a magical map. I wish. I, I wish. Man, I tell you what, I've seen folks get blacklisted and or shut down by the health department in Baltimore City. Like, it is not a game. It is not a joke. I saw this one girl. She had, um, so she was using the bakery castle law in order to make and produce um, banana pudding. And something she did or something she didn't do correctly, man, oh, man, she had vehicles with signage not just one but multiple vehicles with signage and she was going around delivering and setting up little little spots she got shut down like shut down <laughs> and uh, she didn't do something right something was wrong um but yeah woo I don't want that to be me. So I, it's gray. That's all I got to say. Um, yeah. Does anybody else have anything else to comment and or add about electronic payments? Um, Urban Culture Kitchen says Steve's is in the same city that I am. Uncle Steve? Captain Newbie says, gray is good. 
Preach you banana moo boo says, uh, gratefully, they were not pre chewed bananas. Like, uh, well, that's what's up, Uncle Steve. Uh, Uncle Steve, yo, Uncle Steve is a, a godsend, like, for real. I am so grateful that I was able to meet Uncle Steve when I was down in Texas. And you know what? When I, when I, when I, um, I'm, I'm going to make it more public this year. I'm going to do ahead of town, ahead of time, let folks know that I'm going to be in Texas. And when I say I'm going to be in Texas, I'm going to be in Texas for a specific thing. And I need y'all to come through. And I'm, 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 I'm going to need y'all to come through like for real. I need y'all. I'm going to need y'all to help me out. I mean, and I won't say help me out. I'm going to need y'all to help this thing that I'm going to be doing. All right, it's it's gonna be a it is a fundraiser, and it's for someone. And when I when I get there, I will let y'all know because I I would love to have some sort of meetup and we can hang out to an extent. You know, like I don't know, I don't want to meet you, Brian. Like I don't, I don't, I don't want to meet you. <laughs> B, you can you can sit on the other side of the parking lot, <laughs> but. No, like for real, I would love to hang out with you guys. Um, definitely, I gotta. We just gotta figure it out, work it out. Um, Papa Bear, Justin said, uh, "Do you think uh, a promotion via Instagram and Facebook can cause trouble with the health department and the IRS?" I want to say no. Um, I don't. First and foremost, I don't promote and do things via Facebook. I'm not a fan of Facebook. I, I just don't, I don't like Facebook, but that's my own personal thing. There are some folks who are selling food and doing different things via Facebook and Facebook groups. And that's all, you know, more power to you. I have had more, ex more success via Instagram. Does that mean Instagram is better than Facebook? No. Your mileage may vary, okay? Um, and as far as the IRS, you kind of have to figure out what you're going to do and or deal with with the IRS come tax time um, in your own situation. Unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly what you're going to do with that. You're, I am not an accountant. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. Uh... This is Texas. It's much more lenient with our cottage law. Yep. Urban uh, Culture Kitchen says, what part of Texas? To be determined. I'm not going to tell y'all that part just yet, but I, I am hoping that I'm going to get to Texas um, later this year. Let's put it that way. Where should I listen to get a feel for stock car beat? Um... Hmm. What do you mean, uh, Captain Newbie? Where should I listen to get a feel for stock heartbeat? Got a film when you cook, sir, meat time. Yeah, but the problem is I haven't been cooking because I haven't been cooking. <laughs> Just said, come on, Dash, I need legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. I am not providing legal advice. <laughs> uh, what do you watch for stock news? Um, I am all over when it comes to stock news, uh, Captain Newbie. Like, seriously. Um, I listen to the news, period. And if somebody mentions a company, I'm like, wait a minute. Who owns that stock? Or what's the stock ticker for that particular company? I don't have a specific, oh, I listen to this person or that person. I, I don't, I, I like, I keep my ear to the ground. Um, last year, you know when I bought Carnival? I bought Carnival when Carnival said that they were going to offer X number of beds to be um, hospitals, like floating hospitals for folks who had coronavirus and I was like what 
Carnival's doing what? And I was like, all right, let me get a couple shares. And that's when I bought Carnival. I bought Carnival under $10 a share. And yeah, you think I looked at it today, it was at like $27 a share? Yeah, I'm doing okay with Carnival. <laughs> I'm doing okay with Carnival. Unfortunately, I don't have that many shares, but when I started, I didn't have that many, you know, that much funds. Uh, o OPTI. So, I won't say I've gotten into, but uh, I mean, penny stock, yeah, I'm not really day trading. So, you know, penny stock, eh, I need, I feel like I need longer term holds and, and I'm trying to do things that are in the, and I'll be honest, I try to, I have a very, I think it's, it's pretty diverse portfolio. The problem is with Chase, I can't buy partial shares. I have to buy whole shares. And because I have to buy whole shares, that limits what I can afford. Because typically I'm like, ah, you know, most folks are like, oh, I have, you know, 50 bucks here, $100 there. I do too. But that $50 or $100 has to go into whole shares of a particular company. That being said, it limits what I can buy. I mean, like folks are like, oh, you need to invest in Tesla. I can't invest in Tesla because I don't have the funds to buy a whole share of Tesla. So that's why I'm kind of trying to eventually move my brokerage from Chase to, and I don't know what that other <clears throat> or that next brokerage is going to be. Uh, Benji says Dogecoin. Nah, dude, I tell you what, man, I had some Dogecoin. It was at 18 cents or yeah, 18 cents. I had it. And and it like it went up and then it dropped down and I was like, oh man, I don't know nothing about this crypto, I'm out. <laughs> and I mean, mind you, I had probably 50, 60 bucks into it. Like it wasn't a lot of money. Cause I didn't know anything about crypto. I I mean I had never invested in cryptocurrency, let's put it that way. And I was, like I said, I was in and I was out. Had I left what I had in, in, I might be doing a lot better right now. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, uh, Antonio, what's going on? I'm trying to, sorry, I, I missed a whole bunch of conversation here. Uh, Benji says, cash only, cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all, for sure. Uh, um, da -da -da. Antonio says, uh, finally getting to talk to the big homie that got me into smoking. How are you? I am I'm great, man. I'm on top. I used to work with this guy. He used to say, hey, this guy's name was Kareem. He said, Kareem, man, how you doing? Kareem would say, I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. So I, sir, I am on top of the world. Like, really, I get to, I'll I'm, I'm be completely honest, I get to drink, I get to hang out with y'all, we get to, you know, party, and we get to BS, you know, because we were talking about Biggie early, we're going to party and bullshit and party. That's what we're going to do. And that's what we hang out and then we do on Wednesdays. So I, Antonio, am grateful that you were able to hang out with us. Um, uh, Urban Culture Kitchen says Facebook is a great place to start your catering. I've been catering for over 20 years plus. Um, da -da -da -da. If you have 100 shares of Carnival, you can get $100 home board credit on every seven day cruise. Word. I don't have 100 shares, I only have 10 shares currently. Um, mm -mm. 
It's not day trading stock. It's long term investment. Yeah, I know. I uh, I have I have like my portfolio. I have like my long term stuff set up, and then I have some money I just want to kind of play with. And when I say play with, I'm, I'm like I'll take fifty to one hundred dollars here and there every now and again. I'm like I'll buy five ten shares of this, and I'll buy five ten shares of that, and we'll see what happens. Um, and that's usually what it is. Uh, Benji says physical silver and gold. Uh, not paper stocks. I wish I could afford physical silver and gold. Not there yet. I look up OPTI. Yeah, I have it down. Uh, I did. I, I do already. Uh, more with the Marvants. What's going on? Welcome back. It's been a while. How's the little baby doing? How the little baby doing? How, how mama and them? <laughs> Oh man, I, I I wish I could like I really would love to travel around and hang out with 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 you guys, like go to different areas around the country, and hang out with with some of y'all, because I think that would be I think that would be great. Um, da, 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 da. Yes. Um. So Papa Bear says Doge is at point zero five. It was probably at point zero zero one eight. It was. I'm not a day trader. No, actually, you know what? It was at point one eight, point zero one eight. Uh, it wasn't eighteen cents. It was uh, one point eight cents. I guess is that what it is? Um, not day trader. Not for me. Yeah, man. I can. I, I've definitely got some extra grays recently. Been gone for a minute. Now we are back. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, Justin. 0 0.018 for sure. I'm above ground. Woohoo! Yeah, Kevin, I get it. Yo, Benji. Benji, Benji, Benji. Can we can we get a round of applause? Can we get some like some claps in the chat for Benji? Benji says the best investment is to invest in yourself. Yes, yes indeed. Uh William says, hey yo, what up, barbecuers? Yes, Benji. Please send me some. <laughs> uh she's good. She'll be seven months on the eleven. Oh my gosh. You know what's crazy? Like I like like real talk. I have seen people who I've been following on Instagram have kids and those kids are starting to grow up. Like for real. The Morvants, they they down in Louisiana and and uh, and I apologize. I can't remember what what the wife's name is, but she was commenting for quite a while. And then she was commenting, talking about her husband who was doing a barbecue thing. And then she had a baby and she, she had a little girl. And I'm like, wow, I really do remember you guys. Like it's, it's, it's not a game. It's not a front. Like, like y'all been here. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, I hang out like Preston. Preston, where the hell is Preston? Preston is here, and and he has his two sons, PJ and Dino. PJ, I say hi to them whenever I see Preston. Like yo, Preston, get 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 PJ and Dino. PJ, get him get him around. Jay Jay was here earlier. His daughter Violet. I mean, I, I am invested. Like seriously. I remember you guys. I talk to you guys. You guys are my family and my friends. Like, no bullshit. Like, for real. I am so grateful that you guys hang out with me. Like, you're like, oh, man, yo, dad, shoot and help me out. No. You guys have helped me, too. Like, y'all have helped me through some stuff that I just haven't elaborated on. And when the time comes, I will. But... Y'all have helped me too, like for real. I I just I can't say thank you enough. Like seven months, man. What? She's starting to do some tricks, like rolling over and holding her head up, and and like 
what? That's that's like, man, we gotta watch this little baby now all of a sudden. We can't just leave her on the carpet when and she not gonna move around. We gotta be careful. I've been there. Definitely, I understand what that is. Truth. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I watched a live stream. It was on a break from the hospital after my second child was born. That's what's up, William. Wow. I said that was on Netflix. He's two now, William said. God, that's gracious. Oh. Like, that's dope to me, man. That's dope. Like, I, we have history here. We have history. This is, this is not, you know, some fly by night operation. Yo, I've been, I've, I've been doing this for quite some time. So, you know, it's crazy when new folks pop up and they're like, oh, I'm going to do something on Wednesday. And, nah, man, that's Dash's time. Ah, some of you guys are like, no, nah, man, that, that, that's when Dash does his live stream. I'm, I'm going to hang out with Dash. And I am appreciative. I, I, I definitely am. That you guys will hang out with us. Not just, not just me. Y'all hang out with us. Mm. Goodness gracious. Ah, sorry. Mm -mm -mm. I need to get some water. That's what I need to do. William said he's two now. They are good. I don't know. Is this Mr. or Mrs. Morbant? Uh, I, the, I, like I said, I've, I done been through it three times. I already know where you are in that stage, man. Um, Papa Bear says, where is Grumpus? He was around. He kind of, you know, he hangs out and he pops on and then dips back off. He, he's, you know, doing stuff in the background. <laughs> Mubu says best brand of tire. Best brand of tire is a tire that's on sale. Um, I used to be a big fan of Continentals, but I have uh, the last two sets of tires I have have been good years. And reason being. The good years I put on my car, like my summer tires, were on sale. And then the other good years I bought were winter tires. They're like, not even snow tires, but yeah. Captain Newbie says, so uh, where is your thoughts on Bessie? Bessie has been put out to pasture. I haven't cooked on Bessie since uh, Christmas. Christmas? I guess it was Christmas. You guys saw me do that uh, live stream on Bessie, and I haven't cooked on Bessie since. And the reason I like, I don't want to say Bessie's falling apart, but Bessie's rusted through. I, I need, I need a new smoker. I just can't afford it right now. Uh, Fatters Greek Life says, "Love you, Barbecue Channel. Thank you. No, thank you. I saw your comment earlier. I didn't get a chance to reply to you." You commented on a video where I was cooking beef ribs. I believe it was. Um, and, and, dude, I am appreciative of you. Trust me. Steven says, good night, Dash. And all 4 a.m. comes fast. It's 1130 uh, or 1153 here. Take care and stay warm. Man, you talking about staying warm. You in the damn Caribbean. You, how you going to tell us to stay warm? It's already warm. You know? It's like, whatever. <laughs> I just said I'm 39 and plan on semi-retirement in five years, catering pizza, barbecue, part-time. That's what's up. Boo says uh, I ran uh, ProMaster trailer tires on, on my 4 before all year round. All right. Nice. So you're in Canada. I'm in the States. I know the different brands are a little bit different. 
Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, man. Uh, I was hoping to actually stay up a little longer, stay up late. Uh, listen to you while I surf the internet, finding my next expensive hobby. I always like to join the Dash Show, KB. Man, I'll tell you what, you know what my my latest expensive hobby has been? The Pew Pews, okay? It definitely the Pew Pews. I, uh, I got my first Pew Pew in 45 when Taste Test number three was born. I was like, what? I'm having a girl? I need shooting lessons and breeding lessons. And in the last... Uh, gone on three years, I have gotten into the pew pew life a little, a little hot and heavy. Uh, not that I'm like buying a new, you know, and and and, and I, I, you know, we, we talked about this before. Before we, you, you have to be careful on YouTube because you can't say the uh, the G word, okay. So I call them uh, freedom sticks or the pew or talk about the pew pew life, all right. But uh, I have purchased a few. I say a few. I got one one on the way now. Um, a few uh, freedom sticks, definitely. <laughs> The latest is a, a bolt action twenty two. I have some quiet ammo I need to uh, dispose of, you know. So I got a bolt action because the quiet twenty two won't cycle a semi auto. So of course, you know, nah. It's one of those things. It's like, oh, it doesn't work in those things. Oh, all right, get another one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Miller MIG welder. Oh man, I wish I could afford a Miller MIG welder. Look, I'm at Harbor Freight level right now. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Uh, Promising is an off breed uh, of Goodyear, but strictly it's a trailer. It's worth it. All right. G O B. You cannot use the G word. Uh, uh, I'll spell it out. G. So golf under uh, umbrella Nancy. You cannot say that on YouTube. Your videos will get demonetized. 75 round. What? That's what's up, Benji. I do not own it. Oh, 762. 762 by 39 or 50, what is it, 57? So I don't have any 762 by 39, which is the AK round. I did look up and found some rounds in a Walmart not too far from my house. And from what I, when I did some research, it was the equivalent to a 308. And I was like, okay, I'll take the box. Like, I don't have one of those right now, but I'll take the box. Um... Just one of those things. Nice, B. Nice. Um, so again, B, I was talking earlier about how Maryland is is just a little bit better than, than California. One of the things in Maryland is your magazines are you need to be limited to 10 rounds. Oh. Williams says 762 by 54. Yeah, 762 by 54 is the 308 round. Or similar, the same as 308. Uh, and as you said, I just got my Traeger Pro 22 today. I found your stuff great. Please keep it going, brother. I um, I will. I, I haven't posted a video, a barbecue video, in a few months now. I just been, I've been going through some stuff, man. Like, I've been, been doing some things. So... Yeah, my 39 oh, by 39. Uh, a lot of the Russians and Chinese rounds and spam cans. And like, no judgment. Williams says 308 equals 762 by 51. 
Uh, yeah. I thought it was 57. I, I'm just guessing, but whatever. Um, uh, just popped in to say, hey, hope you're well, brother. Yes, indeed, Adam. I sure am. Uh, I have to, like, I, I was doing something and I saw your video pop up. I got the notification. I was like, oh my gosh, let me comment. I haven't actually gotten to finish watching, so... I will watch it again and I will comment again, but I had to comment just to beat Jess. That's all I want to do now. Must beat Jess. I cannot allow her to comment first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> B says, I own a few Russian cans of caviar. Well, uh, that's what's up. <laughs> I... I've, I've never really had any real, real, real deal like expensive caviar. Mm, but maybe someday I will. Oh, man. Adam, though, uh, that that smoker is coming out. It's looking, it's looking really good, sir. Really, really good. So... I am excited for, like, the end. It's like, all right, well, he's got to finish it. Once he finishes it, then he'll start doing another one. Mm. Mm. Benji, I mean... You were on that boat too? What? Gosh. Man. Uh, the best part is the gray sweatshirt. Uh, get to the flea market. I hear you. <clears throat> I don't know what you're referring to, Jessica. Don't, don't come in here trying to like stand over me like I heard that. It's like on Friday. Remember the movie Friday? When uh, Day Day was like, listen, yo, D Debo come around. When 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 Debo come around, I, I be quiet. But, you know, when he leave, like, I be talking again. Jessica come around, I, I be quiet. But when she leave, I comment first on Adam's video again. <laughs> uh, Jessica, there's no shame. There's no shame in that. Because I tell you, your commenting first will get other people to comment so that they can get first before you. Wait, ask me how I know. Ask me. Go go ahead. Just ask me how I know. It's a it's a psychological thing. Like, why does it matter who comments first on the video? No one cares. But guess what? Let me not get first, and I am bummed. <laughs> so many boating accidents lately. I heard the ATF is going to require life preservers for all the arms on board. <laughs> uh, B, you might be right. In order for you to travel on this boat, you need to have your firearms stored in a lockable floating device. Hmm. Unless you're grandfathered in, you know, how to, what is one of those rules. You must be grandfathered in or you have to be grandfathered in in order for this to happen or that to happen. Moo says, ours are still frozen here. Well, yeah, you're in the, in, in, in the, the, in the winter for sure. Gosh. All I can say is it's cold up there. Jessica said, how do you know? Well, what had happened was... 
<laughs> Jessica Adam, I I really I really do appreciate you guys. You guys play along and you are such a great sports. Um and, and you get my jokes. Like really you guys get my jokes. Alright, uh 34 degrees here. Hold on, let's see. Alexa. What is the current temperature? What? Tonight, expect a low of 37 degrees. Alexa said currently 45 with a low of 37. Uh, Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alexa, cancel. I just said in Kansas, we have open carry, constitutional carry, switchblades, brass nuts, swords, daggers. Did number four in Texas, too. Sean says, what up, what up? <gasps> nah, man, I... Mm. No open carry here. No constitutional carry. And in order to get a permit here in Maryland, whoa, I feel like it's an act of God. Not only that, it takes at least 90 days. So I submitted my paperwork on the 2nd. It's going to be a while. I am just like, oh my gosh, day one, day two, day two. Oh, goodness. Uh, do you think they can build a prison big enough to hold us all? I don't know, Jimmy, because they build a prison. I'm going to figure out a way to get out because I I I, I'm not about that life. <laughs> Beast says, damn it, you're setting off mine. That's the whole point. That's why I said it the way that I did. No. <laughs> Justin said, now I can't get my, uh, to shut up. Yep. Uh -huh. Victor says, damn, finally home. Sure wish I could have caught more live tonight. Dash. I enjoy your videos more than all the others. I uh, excuse me, just thought you should know. That said, good night. Well, you know what? I'm going to end it on a high. Thank you so very much, Victor. I definitely appreciate you not only trying to make sure that you can make the live stream, but when you can't make the live stream, you're like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I couldn't make it. I'm like, you don't need to apologize. You really don't. Tell us I'm crashing. Good night. Yeah. Oh, beasts. FEMA camps already built. Oh, goodness. You know, you might be you might be thinking those FEMA camps uh, in the in the long run if something happens to your property. Jessica, we were talking about electronic payment methods, so. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, uh, Square, Square, Clover. There was one more. There was someone who had another electronic payment type system, and I can't remember the name of it. But that's what we were talking about. But sure, your how to charge video was my biggest help. Well, that's what's up, Benji. I mean, that, that, I don't want to say that video was crap, but that, that video, oh, goodness. I'm just, I'm going to sit my nothingness because that, oh, man, that video was so bad. It was so bad. Uh, what did I repay you for the priceless knowledge of well, Benji, man? That, that was something. I appreciate it. Like, yeah. All right, guys. I am gonna, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna end it on a high note. I, I just I want to say thank you so very much for hanging out and uh, witnessing me get a little intoxicated. Thank goodness I have to step off this, you know, this dock into the marina here before I can get home. I hope I don't have a non-boating boating accident. 
Benji said, be safe, brother. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. Uh, I need to turn the lights off in this room. It's bright. Definitely. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out. Uh, Boo Boo says, take care of Dash and family. Yes, you do the same. Definitely, you do the same. All right, guys, I am, uh, I'm getting ready to go ahead and hit the X and I am signing off. If you have any other questions or would, that you would like to get them answered, feel free to leave them in the uh, comments of a video and they could become topics on the Ask Dash series. KB says, cheers, have a good one. Yes, indeed, William brother, or yeah, William, the good brother, says, peace, y'all. The flyers are trash, by the way. Thanks, Benji. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Papa Bear says, good night, y'all. Or, excuse me, he says, good night. All right. I am... Oh, boy. I am... Oof. I'm done. Jessica says, good night. Have a good one. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate it, and we'll do this again next week. I'll see you then.